Welcome back, everybody. Well, folks, it's official. Scientists have declared that 2020 is the longest year on record. And as we enter summer, I think it's vital that we reflect on what we've all gone through and begin the conversation on where we want to end up and at the conclusion of this tumultuous year, discover who we are. And since it's summer, I strongly believe that that conversation requires a thorough examination of the history of the corn dog, America's summertime treat. Now, now bear with me because I stayed up all night thinking about this. The Minnesota State Fair 1941, because this probably goes without saying, but before we can even get to corn dogs, we must address the pronto pup, dog, batter, stick. So simple, but also in a... Did you just hear some knocking? Are, are, do we have knocking? What's going... That's coming... That's coming... Hold on. This is coming from the desk. Hold on. Oh, my God! It's John Stewart! Hello? Hello? What? John! Oh, my oh, God, Stephen. Oh, my God. Hold on, John. I'll take you out of the desk. David, thank oh, you so much. There, John. Oh, oh my God. John. Look. Oh, David. Johnny. John. First of all, thank you so much. Stephen, it was so dark in there, and I was so scared. I I'm didn't so sorry. Know what happened. I'm so sorry. I've kept the drawer closed for months now just to keep the coronavirus away from you. I, the, what, the, next thing, I was taking ketamine, and I got in the desk. And the next thing I know, I can't see anything. John, we've talked about your K-hole. You, you got you, you got to watch it, man. Listen, you I'm watch it. It's just downtime, baby. It's not good for me. The I understand. Is not good for me. How are you? How are how are you weathering the the COVID uh, quarantining with with your with your lovely family? Well, uh, everybody is doing great. Thank you so much for asking. And I, I uh, I'm I'm required to ask. It says I should ask. Oh, is that I mean, really Thank true? you for thanking me, but it you, says I should. You actually ask knew how I was doing because I, I talked to you yesterday and the day before that. But still, and today for a little bit, yeah. And today for a little bit as well. But it's good to have a, a more formal. Sure. Uh, but you know, as performers, nothing means anything unless an audience sees how you feel. You know what? That is an excellent. It's an excellent point, and I didn't even know how I was doing until you just asked me just now. So, John, how are you doing? Uh, Stephen, look at me. I'm, I'm going full uh, uh, Christopher Lloyd in... Uh, uh, I can beat you. What do you think? I can beat you. I can... That is a lush mane. We are rocking lush manes. <laughs> that is... Can What's I tell up? You? I'm going full Einstein, but I think you might be going full Shining. I, I might be going, going Yahoo serious. <laughs> you know what's the saddest thing about this, Stephen? What? I was, you know... As someone who is just really on the dividing line of, of those that the CDC would say, put yourself in a hyperbaric chamber and don't come out till 2025. I know. That's my, uh, I, I'm now considered old enough that this is a pre-existing condition. Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to read up on it. So I was reading uh, about the 1918 uh, pandemic. Right, because we haven't gone through anything like this for a hundred years. That's exactly right. So I what did they? Well, what did what did they do? So here's what's crazy about it. the 1918 uh, pandemic. The advice that they gave was, uh, don't try and stay inside. If you don't stay inside, wear a mask, and and socially distance. And I was like, oh okay, no, that's. A Oh no! Two years. I was hoping it would make me feel better. I thought there was going to be like some old timey like drink apple cider and mercury, mm. and that'll be the elixir for your vitality. Nope. It, it's 102 years. We've literally just been driving in circles. I think there are a lot of Nobel prizes that should be taken away. Don't if they you? haven't made any improvement over the last 102 years. Some somebody screwed up. I feel like the last big improvement was. Uh, uh, during the, the, the Black Death, the plague, somebody went, should we be going to the bathroom mm -hmm. in the drinking water or is that something we should stop? Mm -hmm. and the biggest like, improvement oh. is in the last hundred years, they came yeah. up with that novelty soap that, uh, that bleeds when you, when you get it all soapy <laughs> that you buy in the back of a comic book. That is, that is, that is an excellent one. And x-ray glasses that you can mm -hmm. buy and you can just see through people's clothes. I know, that works. That's these, worked. These are the That's, two things. But I thought yeah. I was going to find comfort in some sort of bizarrely antiquated mm -mm. lack of understanding. Like you could take a drill bit and try and put it into your hand. Like 
Exact same advice. What do you think of the, the, the government's response? How do you think that they've handled it so far? John, I'm, blink I'm blinking SOS to you in Morse code. I don't know if you can. I thought we'd lost the satellite feed for a second. You no, were... it's just a, I'm dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. Look, they're, they're, they're certainly doing the best they can on the thing. I think the, politi the politicization of just basic hygiene has been, I think, one of the more surprising aspects that. Like uh, wearing a mask, wear a mask. A mask a political now statement. the don't tread on me snake. It's the symbol yes. of, of tyranny. And I will not wear your COVID burqa. That, that, that's, exact, that's, that's exactly right. It is the garb of the authoritarian. It's the, the swastika armband. It's mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a brown shirt. And I just keep thinking to myself, like, they wear those in operating rooms, right? Like, they do that not because they're listening to NPR. I'm pretty sure. So they don't put their... I'm, I just want to say to all those people, like, so the next time you get an operation, you just say to the doctor, you take that liberal bull somewhere else. You come in here with no covering, you don't wash those hands, and you stick them in my open wound, because I'm an American. And I will I, tell you, I will tell you my conspiracy theory is that this entire it. mask thing yes. is all just a put on. It's a conspiracy by the Altoids people. Because when you put that mask on and you get a big blast of your own mask breath, you're like, Jesus. <laughs> this would knock a buzzard off a wagon. What is, what have I been eating? Can I tell you something? One of the first things I did when uh, the mandate came down that if you were going to go out, you should wear a mask was apologize to my family. I put the mask on and I drove around and I came home and I said, guys, I just want to tell you, I had no idea. And I, I'm terribly sorry. I understand uh -huh. now why you're in your rooms most of the time. Uh -huh. And I will, I will engage in a more socially distanced uh, uh, way of dealing with you until I can clarify this. John, you know how TV works. We have to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back with more John Stewart.